Hey, what is up my prompter people? So check this out. I got something new that I've been working on and I think some of you might really like it. So in prompter, we now have a new tool at the bottom called Batcher. And if we go there, this is basically all of the same tools except organized in a way where you don't create one prompt, you create a whole list of prompts all at once. So with a few clicks, you can create a hundred different prompts to just copy and paste into Midjourney. All right, so let me give you a quick preview of what you could do with this tool. So let's go up to main idea and type something in. A castle on an island, that's great. But what if we wanted to see what that looks like in a bunch of different aspect ratios? Now normally in mid journey, you could just go into discord and you'd have to change out your AR code. That's annoying, I don't like to type. So instead, we're just gonna click aspect ratios and look, it came up with all these different prompts that are ready to go and they all have different AR values. Now we could even specify a seed down here, and then that all gets added to the prompt as well. So now what I could do is simply copy and paste these into Discord really quickly. The next one, and I'm gonna skip a few just to get some really different sizes. There we go, and now I'm all done. Now I just have to wait for all the images to appear. Awesome, so now we have a bunch of castles on islands and they're in different aspect ratios. This could be a really fast way to test things and see what might look the best. So let's look up here. We have four by three. That's kind of nice. It's a good like eight by 10 photographic kind of look. 16 nine is always so nice because it's very cinematic. It's kind of cool too because you can compare this nine by 16 to four by five and they are very different, but because we used a seed, there are certain elements that look very similar. Now let's head back over to Batcher and see what else we could do. Let's say we like 16.9 out of these. All I have to do now is uncheck this box and that will get rid of our batched prompts. And in the box next to it, all of these green boxes are for static prompting. So for example, anything I pick here will show up in every prompt. For the aspect ratio, let's go with 16.9. Now what I could do is see what different colors look like. If I click the box next to color, that will batch all of these different colors. And as you can see, there's a lot to work with. It might be too much, but what I like to do is just pick certain ones and copy them over. So let's try this again. I'm gonna copy yellow. Let's try blue, brown, and then let's do something really weird, rainbow color. All right, awesome. So now we have this same castle on an island but yellow is an important part of the prompt. Or you could check out this one that's blue. I like that cool look to it. The brown one is kind of neat. The tones are very muted. And then rainbow is just ridiculous, but I love it. Let's once again jump back to Batcher and let me show you a few more things about this. So the coolest part about Batcher is that it's based off of Prompter. And so again, whenever you change your algorithm, you just go down to Prompter and you can switch things here. Now, if we go back to Batcher, you can see that all of these different labels have changed to show you what's compatible or not. Now I'm gonna go back to version four because it's awesome. And then in Batcher, another thing you can do is add weights. So for example, if you wanted to put forest punk, but you really want that to show a lot, you could add some weight in there and it'll add it into your prompt. You could do this with everything, even boxes that are checked. So if I put a two next to that, every different color will get a weight value of two. So I'm just gonna clear everything out and let's start something new. One of the coolest parts of Batcher is it's fully customizable. So you can pick what you want and not have a bunch of clutter that you don't need. So let's go up to main idea. Let's say a decrepit mansion, right? That's kind of neat. I'm gonna change our aspect ratio to a static one by one. We'll just get all squares. The medium, you can either click and scroll through different mediums, or you could start typing in the top, like diorama. I'll select that one. Under camera, I'm gonna click and scroll down to silhouette. Now let's add some parameters. Stylize, let's say 700, we'll get real crazy. Chaos, 10, we'll keep it low. Seed, we're gonna jump to my favorite 420 as always. And now we're gonna batch different descriptors, so I'll click that checkbox. Now, as you can see, you get a whole lot of prompts and sometimes you don't want that. It's too much to look through. 
Now the best part about Batcher is up here at the top, you could click this little plus sign, and this gives you tons of different options. Now if we scroll over to Descriptor, you can see they're all checked, meaning they're going to be in your prompt. So now if I uncheck this top box, that'll control all these boxes underneath. So if I uncheck it, they will all get unchecked. So now that nothing is selected, you can go over to your prompt and see there's nothing there because there's no data to work with. So let's go back over to Descriptor and pick a few that we want. I'm gonna scroll down and pick Brutalism, maybe some Dark Fantasy, Forest Punk is always cool, and then one of my favorites, Psychedelic. So now, as you can see, let's go back over to our prompts and we have four different prompts because we selected those. So what I'm gonna do is add a couple more descriptors and then push them all through. And you can see that one idea you can turn into a whole bunch of different styles. Some of them have a little silhouette to them, but not all. They all look kind of diorami, is that a word? But most of all, you can see how the different descriptors really change the output. So we have one idea that's coming out in all these different styles. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys dig it, y'all rock, and take it easy.